Hey guys, it's Pastor Pat. I'm back with your word for Wednesday. Now, it's been a couple of weeks since I've done my word for Wednesday. Sorry about that. A couple of weeks ago, I mean, the week just got crazy, kind of blew up, and I wasn't able to do the word for Wednesday. I did it last week, and then I watched it, and I went, that is just not good. I was tired, I was rambling, and I just didn't want to subject you to a word for Wednesday that would embarrass me and bore you. So I'm back today with your word for Wednesday. And this week, it is from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, a great passage, end of the chapter. It says, therefore, we don't lose heart. No matter what's going on around us, we don't lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, literally it means even though our bodies are decaying, yet inwardly, We are being renewed day by day. Now watch this. It says, for our light and momentary troubles, and and for you, they might not seem so light, but in comparison to eternity, they're light, they're momentary. But here, look at what Paul says. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory or an eternal weight of glory And then the NIV says that far outweighs them all. Some versions might say that are beyond comparison. And then it says, so we fix our eyes on what is, not what is seen, but what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. It reminds me of of the writer of Hebrews who says, since we've been surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let's fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith who for the joy set before him endured the cross and scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of God. And let us look to him who experienced those kinds of afflictions and troubles and persecutions so we don't grow weary and we lose heart. But I'm going to go back to something that Paul says when he says we, these, these things that are happening to you right now, these troubles, these challenges that you have in life, they are affording you. They are saving up for you. They are being sent forward as as a reward, and we will receive this eternal weight of glory that, that, that is beyond comprehension. It, it's that phrase, beyond comprehension, that I want to key in on, uh, because you don't see it in English, and I'm not one that you got to know Greek to know your Bible, because you don't, you don't, but when you see what's going on behind the scenes, it just, boom, mind blown, because what Paul says is, for, for that phrase, beyond comprehension, or that far outweighs them all, he, he uses a word that you know. It, it's a Greek word that has become a part of our English language. It's hyperbole. And so hyperbole in our language means exaggeration. And so Paul says that the, the eternal weight of glory, it's, it's almost like it's an exaggeration. That the exaggeration is actually the real thing. But wait, it gets better. Because Paul says that what is waiting for us in response to these momentary troubles that we are facing now is not just a hyperbole, not just, you know, you think of what what could God do, what could God give you and exaggerate that. No, no, it's not even that. He says it's the hyperbole of hyperbole, that the exaggeration of exaggeration is actually the real thing. So during this time, it's difficult. It's hard. Man, we have questions about how things are opening up. Sometimes things don't make sense. Some of us are just tired of it all. We just want it to be over. We want to go back to normal. By the way, no such thing anymore. What we had is gone. Let go. Welcome to the new normal. Uh, accept that and, and, and allow God to use that in you and through you. But remember that no matter how difficult it gets, these light and momentary troubles are achieving for you and for me an eternal weight of glory that is the hyperbole of hyperbole. If you think about that for a minute, your mind will just be blown because it's the exaggeration of God's exaggeration. And if the creator of the universe, the God of all things, begins to exaggerate, what does that look like? When it's not an exaggeration, it's actually reality. Wow. I hope you're having a great week. I hope this word has encouraged you. 
And I hope you join us on Sunday. We're going to be talking about the care of God for you. You. I love you guys. Have a great week. I'll see you. Bye.